Today I'm going to talk about using static plants in animations in Lumion Pro 12. My name is Katarina, I'm a garden designer and I'll see you next. So welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools and today is a quick video about using static plants in animations in Lumion Pro 12. So one of the amazing things of using Lumion library plants is, um, and trees of course, is that you have movement, you have wind, you have things moving around and this is an amazing experience when you're doing an animation because it seems the whole garden comes to life, okay? But if you like me that you want to build up your plant library, if you're a garden designer or a landscape architect, you're not going to be content with the plants that they have uh, in the default uh, library, even though there are a lot of them. Um, you want to uh, you want to source more plants and you want to upload them into your Lumion library. So what I do is I actually uh, do the best thing to do is to have a mix of uh, sourced 3D models plants with default Lumion plants. Okay, so like this, it can you build up a border that you have a lot of static plants. Like for example, if you're looking here, okay. It seems like more or less everything is soft, softly moving, but the digitalis, this one, and the lavandula, they are static. Okay, so they are not moving. But what you add, and the Artemisia is not moving either. But what you add, I added these cosmos uh, plants. I had a few, um, a few plants. I had this uh, uh, garden cosmo plant. I had this one, the Dacos um, plant, and this is all from the the Lumion uh, library. One, some of them are from the weeds part because I was doing quite a, um, like a wild kind of thing uh, um, border here and all that together with the static ones they have this sense of they, they cheat the eye actually and it really works well so if you go in, in the to the end of this video you I'm gonna add the, a little animation I did just from this border so you can see you almost don't uh, see that some of them are static, some of them are moving. You don't see them. It feels like everything is slightly moving with the breeze of the wind. Plus, I love to add things like butterflies. Of course, it needs to be, if you're doing just a evergreen with ferns, a border you're not gonna use butterflies for that effect if you have grass for example close by i normally use uh, dandelions you know that you know in the air because it gives that extra movement and again cheats the eye that it seems like everything is slightly moving but it's not okay um so that's a few things you can do um a mix of the planting is really really important even if it's really small if it even if you just want to add some uh, grass blades here or there uh, in this mix here it's just to give you that that slight breeze movement don't exaggerate in the wind okay because you know is you're gonna see that's unnatural uh, another thing i like to add is for example here as a ground cover i added these little ground covers i actually change the saturation because normally they're very green saturated really really like like it is here as you can see for example as this one here uh, but I took the saturation out a little bit just because I didn't want them to stand out so much but again they have this little movement because they are from the default library so I have the, this little movement that again is going to cheat you the eye so as you can see I would love to have this digital is moving but it's not possible but when you hear and when with the, with the default with the dacos with the default cosmo of the lumion library is almost seeming like if you sometimes even to me you know it seems like they move slightly but they didn't at all um so this is a way to really cheat and of course uh, verbenum that they have here um in the in the um, in the lumion library they have as well this one's here as you can see here um they are lovely of course they need to be um in in the con in the concept that you design for the border okay so a good thing is mixing plants from the lumion library with the static um with the static plants you've sourced uh being careful to add something to the ground something with a mo little movement even if it's just a little weed 
you know it has uh, that little mo movement or oh, some, some maybe um grass blades in the middle here of the board just to add that little movement and another thing is using uh, butterflies okay so this all together works really really well and what i like to use as well for example in this border here uh, i the trees are already outside of my of my garden but if you have trees to your background that they move with the wind so default lumion uh, trees uh, from the lumion library um, again it's another element that's going to be moving so it really is amazing after in the animation it works you don't have this really static uh, structures 3d models and uh, ones moving okay it's very soft to breathe in the wind uh, if you don't exaggerate it's going to seem like everything is um, moving to the breeze see you guys in the next video bye bye